Hello, junior archaeologist. Welcome to another episode of Happy Archaeology Fun Time. Today, I was going to basically walk you around a room and give you some pointers on how to um, live out a super basic hotel room. <clears throat> Alright, so let me take you on a little twirling around tour. Basically, this has been my room for the past week or so. And if you can see, if this camera can refocus again, <laughs> it's a super basic room. There's no fridge. There's no microwave. And, you know, it's basically just a couple of beds and a TV. So I wanted to point out some things that make life much handier. And first thing that makes things handier, hang on, let me get the screen turned around, is this. It's my little fridge. Now, it's making a lot of noise right now, so I might just back up a little. But basically, when you're out here, you, there are two options. You can either A, bring a little cooler with you, or B, you can bring one of these. I did. It's a little noisy, but it does work. You know, I've actually got stuff in it. It's actually using it. So that's what I use when I'm out in a hotel room. And like I said, it's a little noisy, but if it really bothers you, you can always just put it in the bathroom or something, close the door. <clears throat> Second thing that makes life much easier, and almost everyone I know uses one, is, well, this is not a hot plate, <laughs> but basically a hot plate. Now, some people, especially newer people, are like, oh my god, will I get into trouble for, like, cooking and stuff? And the answer is no. <laughs> I mean, this is not, this is not the Hilton that, you know, this is not like the Hilton in Hawaii where you went for a vacation. This is, you know, if I took you out in the parking lot right now, basically you'd see a bunch of work trucks. And pretty much everyone else is doing it. And most of these towns fall into, like, two categories. Either there's no... Either there's, like, you know... Either it's, like, all fast food and other junk you don't want to be eating for weeks on end. Alternatively, it could be, like, one project where the closest grocery store was, like, 100 miles away and the closest restaurant was 40 miles. So it was either cook or don't eat. Anyway, moving on. The most overlooked thing that most people don't bother bringing, a power strip. <laughs> like, obviously, this room's got plugs, but as you can see, I have more things plugged in than can possibly be plugged into one outlet. And there are other outlets, but they're not exactly in the most handy places. So that's always something important to remember. As you can see, and probably hear, I also bring my own coffee maker. Yeah, that's optional. Some people don't like coffee, you know. I also make tea. So <laughs> that's the main thing I use my hot plate or my um, gas grill for. And before anyone writes me and asks, you know, I've used it indoors a lot and it has not caused any problems. Just in case anyone was curious about one of these little guys. Another thing I bring? Water. My own water. <laughs> most of these towns have, you know, most of the towns you'll be working in, basically, the water is, either the water tastes weird, or it's just not safe to drink. Like, I had one company that would actually fill up the company, you know, the, um, the company supplied, like, you know, water bin carrier things with, um, basically hotel water that they got out of a hose outside and that's super gross so that's when I got this thing and I fill it up at home or I just you know buy stuff in the grocery store and put it in there you know or actually I bring stuff from home and if I run out then I put grocery store water in there let's see other things you might want to think about I usually bring my own dish drying towel thingy mainly because um I find some hotel towels to be, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Sometimes they're just gross. <laughs> I mean, these hotels are usually not the best, so, you know, I found some very gross things in them. That's why I also bring my own towels. 
but the ones in this hotel seem to be all right, but I still use my own dish drying towel. And the most important thing to bring, let me back it up a bit, a bin for all your kitchen stuff. Like if you, um, if you show up at the, you know, wherever you're meeting your crew for the first time and you see they've got their suitcases and stuff and then they've always got these like totes and bins. That's what's in them. So if you're new to the business, make sure to get your own tote. Obviously I've got a king size one, but you know, you can make, most people make do with smaller ones. <clears throat> and I think it's about it. Oh, I also bring my, you know, my iPod. My super old iPod that I don't mind if it gets stolen. And speakers. Obviously some people bring Bluetooth speakers, but, you know, if I've had some, I probably assume I wouldn't want it to be stolen, so I don't bring stuff I don't want to get stolen. And an alarm clock. That's actually one other thing that's important. Most people, like myself, actually use two alarms. <laughs> This is because inevitably if you like use your cell phone, it's too easy to like hit the Basically hit the off button when you meant to hit the snooze button and with something like an alarm clock every once in a while The battery just dies in the middle of the night, so I always make sure to have two sets Let's See other than that That's basically about it So hopefully if you're new to the business That was um Hopefully, if you're new to the business, that was moderately helpful. I admit it's not as nice as the last hotel room I showed you, but, you know, it's not so terrible. No bed bugs. Kind of a pleasant city. Grocery stores across the street. Anyway, that's not so relevant. So, hope you guys found that slightly useful. I will see you guys next time. Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> see you guys um, in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I do have social media, a Twitter, Facebook page, and stuff like that. So that's in the description. Anyway, talk to you guys next time. Bye.